Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. Today, we are continuing the research of the Squientist and trying to determine what happened at that crazy lunar temple. And we finished the research project, and we have a scientist here to tell us what's going on, hopefully. We think we've hit some kind of milestone in our observations, Captain. Do tell. Not long, ago, not long ago, a group of native squid things visited the station. They immediately entered the station and went straight to Mr. Science. They seemed drawn to him. He seems to think he can interact with them, but it is having great difficulty with his attempts. You can ask him about it if you'd like, sir. Yes, I would like. The Squientist. Mr. Science sits in the room surrounded by a rainbow of little squids squirming around on every surface of the science wing. He waves at you and your commanding officer as both you enter. Hi, Mr. Science. How are we doing today? He nods ecstatically and grabs up two little squids with his tentacles and hugs them tightly against his sides. So what do we have going on here, Mr. Science? Mr. Science puts the squids back down on the floor and retrieves his marker and clipboard, scribbling, They are things I feel. You feel the squids? Mr. Science nods energetically. Not wildlife, sentient complex. You're saying the whole time these squids have been sentient beings? Mr. Science nods. Not talk with words, pictures, feelings, difficult learning. Mr. Science looks suddenly down to one of the little squids who looks up at him. They lock eyes and stare at each other for a long time. You okay, Mr. Science? Mr. Science looks up. It feels want. What does it want? Image hat. Mr. Science turns to Feather and points a tentacle at the officer's cap. We look to Feather. It wants my hat? Mr. Science nods. Uh, okay, sure, why not here? The commanding officer takes off the officer's cap and bends down to hold it out to the little squid. The little squid takes the hat in two of its tentacles and places it on top of its head. It starts flailing, flailing its tentacles around in the air, excitingly runs over to the other little squids who flock around it, all waving their tentacles excitingly. Ha ha ha, we chuckle. Mr. Science scribbles. They're happy. And then theory. You have a theory, Mr. Science? Mr. Science nods again. Their thoughts, simple, amusement, curiosity, warm, sun, theory, little squid, equal children. As if to punctuate Mr. Science's point, the squid wearing feathers hat flies in between you and Mr. Science and elates tears up the corridor, tra trailing a parade of little squids flaying their tentacles up in the air. If these are infants, might the larger ones we've seen be the adults? Mr. Science rubs a tentacle thoughtfully along the side of, or what would be his chin? He shrugs. Maybe? Interesting. No thing. What do you know? Starlight is food. Need nothing else. Convenient. Freeing. That is pretty convenient. I'm curious. Do you know how to propel yourselves through space? Mr. Sh Science shakes his head. Want arms tingle go. Mystery to me. Also convenient. <laughs> freeing. Totally. Magic flying powers are amazing, I'd bet. Amazing, yes. You win bet. Mr. Science holds it, holds its belly with four of its tentacles and jiggles. All right, Mr. Science, you're doing a fantastic job here. Keep at it. Thanks, Captain. I'll check back in a few days. Let me know if you need anything. Need no things convenient? Yes, thanks. He he he. All right, Mr. Science. Oh, and they even took his hat off, the Mr. Feather, Commanding Officer Feather. I guess I'll just write that hat off as a loss. That was my favorite hat. All right, so if you've been paying attention to any of the episodes, my theory is these um, these squids are our ancestors. Because um, you know, a few episodes ago, we learned that our ancestors at some point were doing some genetic modifications with Dr. Wakufu, and he was attempting to figure out how to make the meeples better suited to live in space. So I wonder if this is his results, but we'll have to keep playing to find out. So our objective is have your science research Mr. Science, so we need to keep working on that. So that was the first of almost a thousand research points into Mr. Scott Science, yeah, into the Squientist, Mr. Science. So we will let them keep working on that. Uh, while you were away, I did research a couple other things, Efficiency 4, which isn't as fun uh, for you guys, but I also researched the biomass compressor. So this is going to allow us to get some wood by recycling um, biomass. 
So let's head on down and see if we can find a spot to place this. Um, maybe right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and place that right there. So they'll come, or uh, who we got? Hacksaw's coming down to build this for us. So now we can go ahead and start making wood. And it looks like it needs uh, some advanced electricity. No, regular electricity. All right, so we will go ahead and queue that up and they can connect that to the power grid for us. And it looks like he's already here. Fantastic. Let's watch that go away. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and start making ourselves some wood, which I have been excited for. And let's go ahead and set that as infinite. Good. So it takes five, five biomass to make a piece of wood. And just for fun, let's see. It takes three wood to make a bed, two wood to make a table, one wood to make a chair, one wood to make a foot locker. All right, so I think long term, eventually, We'll probably be ripping out all those other beds to go ahead and make wooden beds because I believe they are a royal piece. What's that say? A royal piece of decorative furniture. So that is on our list of things to do. So that's pretty cool. A uh, couple other things I did. Uh, Glutton and Insomniac. Um, no, not yet. I want to make sure. Um, so I started replacing some of this boring old tile in the um, living quarters just to give everything a nice little... Uh, new feeling to it a nicer feeling to it so let's go ahead and go to basic hall wall and some of these walls need to be upgraded so that needs to be upgraded there 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 all right this is some boring stuff but that's okay all right so they will come and start upgrading all these walls and making these hallways nice and they look a lot more spacey or like Fantasy spacey, cool spacey instead of that boring kind of drab, graded hall, ugly color. Okay, we've got to replace these over here. All right, fantastic. Um, as you can see, some of these rooms have royal, pleasant. Uh, so we are getting these rooms nice and upgraded for our meeples. All right, we got a little bit more steel now. So let's go ahead and start replacing some of that hall. Replace that there. And there we go. So that was just enough steel to replace that hall on this floor uh, moving up uh, still got our medical quarters here haven't done anything to that did start to expand up here a little bit so it's a little nicer a little newer so we, i think we've got one open bed it looks like all right so we can start accepting some more meeples as they come in at least one more and we'll continue to expand out and make more uh, bedrooms on this uh, floor number six so that is pretty cool now let's see how much wood we've produced so far uh, nine chunks of wood. That's good. Let's. I just want to see how much wood sells for. A hazmeat forgetful. Yeah, we'll take him because we do need to keep producing a lot of wood. They updated Meeple Station. There is a neat auto assign button, or maybe that wasn't was there before and I wasn't paying attention. But now I can just click auto assign and not have to go through that whole thing. I click on assign and then click on the Meeple. So that makes it a little quality of life update. All right, wood is selling for hundred. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. 115 credits for one piece of wood. That's um, that's pretty good. But we're going to need a lot of biomass. So instead of selling biomass this time, let's go ahead and buy their biomass. We'll sell them some vegetables. We'll buy that lavish meal. We'll buy that fish. And then let's also... Uh, we can sell them some super alloy, it looks like. There we go. Let's all sell them the rest of our... Super alloy, get a little money from that. Uh, what do we got? We got plenty of medical plants. Let's see if we can sell them some medical plants. And I think that'll be good. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. It's a good trade, a good trade indeed. Let's check out our star map here. I don't remember if there was much more we needed to explore. Yeah, we could go ahead and send out the albatross and do a little, do a little scouting out there. So let's go ahead and launch. Head over here, and there's space debris. So go ahead and scout that, and away goes the albatross. Hey, down below, let me know what you're thinking of Meeple Station. We, we've got to be close to wrapping up the series. I have enjoyed it so far, but just let me know what you think of it. It's been a fun game. It's uh, a different game. Definitely recommend checking it out on Steam. The campaign has had its fair share of uh, plot twists so far, so I've enjoyed that. Go ahead and like the video if you've liked those plot twists, and then subscribe if you want to continue to see those plot twists, because if you subscribe... You are ensured to get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. And I really do appreciate all the feedback I've been getting from everyone. Mostly positive feedback, so that is good. But 
If there is some negative feedback, let me know because I'm always looking to improve my videos, both on video quality, audio quality, quality, commentary quality, because that is how I grow to become a better content creator for you guys. And that's my goal at the end of the day is be, be able to make the best content for y'all. All right, so let's go down here into the kitchen. Let's, um, let's go ahead and replace these tables with uh, some wooden tables, yeah? We might as well, because that's why we're making wood. So furniture and two wood for each table. So they're ripping that table down, and we'll put that right there. And it looks like uh, the scout ship uh, just found some electronics. All right, cool, cool. And then we'll put the wooden tables there. Yeah, I know we're lacking dining. We're fixing that. All right, so those wooden tables are now up. Let's go ahead and also replace these chairs. These were the original chairs we started with. So we'll get some new wooden chairs in there. And it'll be nice and pretty for everyone. And hopefully they get some uh, good dining experience from these new wooden chairs. All right, we are taking down that first chair. There we go. Making everything great. Chair there. Get that spun the right way. And there's the albatross flying back in. All right, there are the chairs, and we've got a miner, and he's a light eater. He's got a pretty high intelligence score. Um, do we have enough room for him, though? No, and it's going to take us a hot minute to build some more bedrooms, so we will have to deny him. But let's, uh, let's get some more bedrooms being built, yeah? So we can get more meeples on our station. Resources lost. That's not good. Um, so let's go ahead and go decorative tile and do that, and then three there and three there and we can go ahead and get another two bedrooms built for us fantastic all right let's see this trade ship is still here let's um let's just sell a bunch of carbon get some room for as we bring more resources in we can sell some iron ore he says as he tries to click uh for some reason it's not letting me sell my iron ore Whatever. Uh, let's just move this, see if that'll let me do it. Nope. Uh, they got plenty of money, too. All right, let's see if we can sell some titanium ore. Yeah, whatever reason, it's not letting me sell iron ore. The one I want to sell, I can't click on. That is so odd. Whatever. Uh, we'll sell off a little bit of aluminum ore. Let's sell some... Uh, let's sell some thorium. We can't sell thorium because it's too expensive. Sell off some super alloy. All right, there we go. Uh, and let's, um, we got plenty of storage still on there. So let's just go ahead and send this out and it can scout this other planet and away it goes the albatross. Bye-bye friend. Hmm. Should we add some more storage? Probably. Let's go ahead and we can expand this over here a little bit and we'll just use the cheap haul and let's go ahead and expand that like three units. And here comes another little thing from the Squientists. The Science Wing asked if we'd come check in with them. Sure, we can go right now. Hello, Captain. Not too long after your last visit, some of the smaller squids left the station, as they do. This time, however, it would seem they went and sought out some of the larger squids and, I guess, told them about what happened here with Mr. Science. Soon after a group of the larger squids showed up to the station. Yes, they're hard to miss. Indeed. Well, the work theory turned out to be correct. The smaller ones are mere children. The larger ones are older. And as if it and as it turns out, more conscious and practice at their forms of communicating images and emotions through their minds to other squids. Mr. Science has been making great strides since the older ones showed up. That's great news. Has anything new come to light? Yes, but perhaps you'd like to speak with Mr. Science himself about it. Sure. Mr. Science is sitting among several other of the larger squids exchanging concentrated looks and gesturing with their tentacles to one another. He looks up as you approach and waves to you and Commanding Officer Feather. Hello, Mr. Science. How are we doing today? Ah, hello to everyone else. Mr. Science turns back to the other squids and after a moment they all turn to you and nod their heads slightly in recognition. Wow, you seem to really be making some progress here since we last talked. Mr. Science nods deeply. He looks around and shuffles through things on a desk until he finds a clipboard and a marker under a coat. Big squids older, more learned. Yes, one of the scientists was just telling us, I've been thinking. Mr. Science 
looks at you expectantly. We keep calling them squid. Surely their species must have a name. Uh, millennium pass. They lost need for words. Part of initial difficulty communicating. They don't use words anymore. Can share thoughts, images, and feelings. Once had words, now don't need. Interesting. Yeah. It would... If you could share all that, I suppose you wouldn't really need words. Mr. Science nods thoughtfully. Also words useless in vacuum. Also no word hole. So no mouth. That's cute. Mr. Science points at where his mouth would have been uh, if he still had one, seemingly amused by this fact. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mr. Science gestures as a change of subject with his tentacles and starts scribbling. Older ones teach me focus, thought better communicating better children ones still learning take practice be understood with no words emotional complex beings much nuance in feelings they send mr science shakes out a cramp from his writing tentacle i think i understand have you learned anything about what happened at the temple mr science foot pages to another page with yes and no already written on it and points at yes uh care to share with the group mr science yeah i'm interested myself ah yes sorry means to communicate Means to communicate, bad translation, squid can communicate with other squid, temple makes squid so can communicate, scientists figure out this out though, to squids, temple, just sacred, very old place now, lost knowledge. This is a very important distinction, is what happened reversible? Mr. Science points at a pre-written word, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Science, I should have ordered continued study before trying to use the device. Mr. Science shakes his head fervently. Was at dead end with language without more to go off of. Not your fault. I knew risk. Could die. Didn't die. More alive than ever, Captain. To scientists, this experience, gift, unique, exciting. Well, that's a great outlook, Mr. Science. Older squids tell place we must go learn. What place? They know difficult thinking, specific point in space to me. Try many ways to learn, still try. What will we find there? Don't know. They share only strong feelings to me. Desire for us is important. We go. All right, Mr. Science. I'll bite. Keep trying to identify the location of this mysterious place. Mr. Science points at the pre-written word yes with an excited nod. Thank you for the update. I'll leave you to it. Mr. Science nods respectfully to you and turns back to the group of larger squids who, after a moment of all simultaneously, turns to you and waves their tentacles awkwardly. Ha! Ha! Good to meet you all, too. All right, that's uh, pretty cool. Sounds like we're making a little progress and moving right along. So that was at, what, 680? So we are chugging right along in the um, the journey of the squiz, the journey of Mr. Science. Looks like those tables and chairs are built. Let's see how much wood we have now. 47 wood. Um, let's just go to a meeple here and click... Um, Trying to see, enjoyed a meal, feeling superb at work. Does anyone have a good feeling? Mm, sorry, we'll deny you for now. Um, trying to see if it says brief chat, exquisite quarters. A great, great dining area. Okay, so we are having a good effect by changing all this. Everyone's getting a good mood bonus from the fantastic dining area that we have. Excuse me. All right, so let's... um. Let's start changing some of the runes. Uh, okay, so the scout ship found some stuff. Let's, um, yeah, let's rip out some of these beds, especially some of these older beds. So we're going to start with these two beds. And let's go ahead and salvage that one. And we're going to salvage that one. And then we'll put some wooden beds there and start to make these rooms really nice. And also, let's go ahead and put down some wooden chests. And I think that'll be it to begin with. And let's just see what, because these are at Pleasant. Let's see what that jumps out up to. Looks like they're out here building that. Fantastic. Excited to see that expansion going well. So let's go ahead and put the doors in as well. I just used as well as lot, but that's okay. So those rooms will be about set up. And then we can also go ahead and put in the wooden beds here. And the wooden foot lockers. There we go. And then a plant. Uh, engineer, doctor, astrophobic. We will deny that for now. The plant there. And these lamps. 
All right, so those rooms are nice and set up and ready to go. Those haven't been torn down yet. Looks like is this Hacksaw. Yep, Hacksaw is building ourselves some pretty good rooms. Satisfactory. Oh, because we'll need to put carpet down here. So let's uh, go to structure here, and we'll do blue carpet here and red carpet here. There we go. So they can start to build those carpeted floors for us as well. And looks like uh, Hacksaw decided to crash in the nice new wooden bed for himself. And we got Pretzel up here doing a little bit more construction, hopefully making... See, now that room's already royal. That room's decent. So I think once I get all this flooring in, these are all be some royal rooms. Okay, so let's, uh, is the Albatross back? Yes, it is. Uh, still has plenty of room on board, so let's send it out to do a little more scouting. And they've got some debris there, and away it goes. All right, let's go back and check on the construction here. Still haven't torn those beds down. Looks like they're putting most of that carpet in. That's all right with me. All needs to be done here. Another trade ship rolling on in. Taking itself a nice little park there. Uh, engineer, pilot, virtuous, pretentious. Um, eh, not really tripping my trigger there. Let's sell off some stuff. We'll sell a little bit of medicine. We can, we got plenty of iron ore. Can I sell some iron ore now? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and sell off like, until we get to 1500 iron ore. There we go. Um, and we can sell, we'll buy that cobalt for funsies because it's only one. Let's sell off some glass. And we can sell off some. We got plenty of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, let's sell off some fruits. And I guess we can't sell off that many fruits. Okay, so there we go. All right, nice little trade. And our, our credit count is climbing quite high. That's exciting. Like to see those numbers keep going up. Looks like they about got all the carpet in. For these royal rooms, um, some generic electronics, that's okay. We can bring all that home. Looks like the Squiantist will be done here soonish, 864 out of 1,000. Let that keep trucking away here. So I think they got these rooms complete, and they are both royal rooms. Between the wooden footlocker and wooden bed, I would imagine they'd be royal level. All right, so now they should come down and build these foot lockers and rip these beds out. Yep, there we go. Looks like they're going to come and do that. Um, Hazmeep, yep, we want that Hazmeep, so we will go here and auto-assign. Fantastic. Oh, and we uh, we got a teleport pad up here, so that's good. All right, so these beds are being ripped out as we speak, so they need to be replaced. So furniture here, and that was already facing the right way, and there we go. So those two beds are ready to go. And we will, oh, those are both assigned to Salsa. Um, but there's doors there. Um, unassign, assign quarters, iceberg. See, I don't like when it does this. I never know how to fix it. Because it should be separated, but it's saying they're both royal, or they're both owned by iceberg. Eh, we'll come back and fix that in a few minutes. Um, so that's Kiwi's bed, and we'll just go auto assign, so that's Partridge. All right, so let's just make sure everyone has a bedroom assigned. Okay, Salsa doesn't have a bedroom assigned. Um, let's see if one of these is open. Comfortable. None of those are open. All right, let's try, let's see if this fixes its structure. Hall tile, let's just go ahead and extend that to that. Um, I don't know why those are saying those are the same room. They shouldn't be. Uh, we'll deny for now. And then let's see what we can buy from VAS. Uh, we are out of biomass. We'll buy some biomass off them so we can keep making wood. Uh, and we'll sell, let's just sell 10 wood. And then do, do, do. I think that's pretty good. We can sell a little bit of cobalt here. Get a little money from that. All right, and that puts us over 150,000. Fantastic. The albatross is back. Let's go ahead and launch that again. And where is the one of these debris detected? All right, scout that. There it goes. Goodbye. Go scout that last debris for us, my friends, and the albatross. Marimba and the albatross. 
All right, so 990, so that is almost done researching, fantastic. So hopefully we gotta figure out where we need to go, where these squids want us to go. That'd be pretty exciting, pretty cool. So now we got, what, three hazmeeps? So we should really be processing the, the poo and the wood. So that's good for us, good for us indeed. Let's see if we figured out. See, I don't understand how this could be a poor bedroom when there's a wooden bed and a wooden footlocker. Pretty large space. Let's go up here. Oh, and all right, the squientist. You are called to the lab to speak to Mr. Science, who is waiting for you when you enter. Mr. Science waves to you, barely containing his excitement. We find the place, or find place. That's exciting news. How did you figure it out? We try show star charts, confuse them. Our charts in complete static. No movement over time. Alien way to think about space to squid. Scientists try to point at chart with laser pointer. One squid think urgency. Need thing. Take laser. Come. Grab tentacle. Grab me. Into space. Position laser. Bright light through nebula, nebular glass. Gases to distant star. See. Show colleagues they find unknown. Not on our charts, but no now. How did we not notice how intelligent these creatures were this whole time? Mr. Science shrugs deeply, then surprises us daily, maybe because little child wants simple, not learn things yet. Maybe, so show me this place. Mr. Science leads you to a touch display and deftly tentacles up a star chart. New destination, MSC 6831, nameless two squids. Mr. Science looks at the highlighted star triumphantly. It's 9,473 light years away. Yes, far towards galactic core. Can the SI drive actually take us that far? Power stay on, drive stay on, take a little longer, still very short time. Amazing. Do you know how, have any idea at all what we'll find there? No, just is important. This is an incredible distance to travel if for not knowing why. Insist, feel their thoughts, they think good for us, important, not lie, lie another thing, don't need when feel through how lie genuine. Okay, I believe you, Mr. Science. We'll follow this mystery to its end. Mr. Science throws his tentacles in the air and happily dances about for a moment before remembering that he still stands. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Hopefully you got to read it. Uh, Mr. Science nods and squidges off enthusiastically down the corridor. Well, Feather, I suppose we'll go see what the squids want us to see then. Suppose so, sir. I'm excited too. And he got his hat back. Oh, maybe he had a second hat laying around. Not his favorite, obviously. Obviously, Let's get a move on then, happily, sir. All right, so we have uh, finished researching the squientists. That is fantastic. And we are about ready to jump into the next system. No more research to do. Um, so I think this is a good place to go ahead and pause, and I will see you guys when we jump into this new unnamed system that is almost 10,000 light years away. So in this episode, we fixed up the station and made it look a lot prettier. We also finished researching squ uh, the Squientist chain and learned a lot. Uh, I'm still betting that these squids are our ancestors. So like the video if you've been enjoying Meeple Station. Comment on down below what you think is going to happen in the next episode. I don't know yet because obviously I haven't even made that far yet. I, I'm betting that these squids are our relatives. But let me know what you think this plot twist will be. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time in an orderly fashion, and you definitely want to see what this plot twist, this next part of the story, will be. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.